To create a new recording in Voicemail Pro, first click on Start, then All Programs, then IP Office and Voicemail Pro Client. When Voicemail Pro Client opens, it's not automatically connected to your voicemail system. Ensure that the IP address in the bottom is the voicemail system's IP address, and then enter in the username administrator and the password administrator. Then click Login. The Voicemail Pro Client detects that it doesn't have the newest call flows and it wants to know if you'd like to download them. Click on Download. When the call flows have all downloaded, look to the Modules area and choose the module that you wish to re-record. In this case, we wish to re-record the Digicom Closed menu. So we'll click on the module Digicom Closed. And then on the right hand side, we'll select the menu object. Open the menu object. In the menu object, click on the Entry Prompts tab. And then you're confronted with the choice. Either you can re-record over top of the existing one, or you can add a new file and switch the two. I'd suggest adding a new file. So click on the green plus arrow. Give the file a new name. And once you're ready, specify an extension nearby, in my case 238, and click on the record button. The system will call a phone nearby. You can pick up the phone and do the recording. Good evening. Digicom is currently closed. Please call back. To listen to the greeting that you've just recorded, press the play button. Now that you're complete, should this be acceptable, you can replace the existing recording by removing the old recording and leaving the new one in place. Click on OK. And then in the upper left hand corner, click on the Save and Make Live button. You're asked to confirm if you want these changes to be made. Click on the Yes button. You've now replaced your current voicemail recording with the new one. And Digicom should expect to have a new closed greeting. You can close Voicemail Pro Client at this point, and you've re-recorded your auto attendant.